brain fog, or difficulty thinking or concentrating, plagues many who recover from COVID-19. Along with fatigue, lightheadedness when standing, and trouble sleeping, COVID-caused neurological symptoms may linger for weeks to months at a time. These ailments can develop even after asymptomatic and mild cases of COVID-19, raising the suspicion that even moderate acute COVID-19 could impact the brain. Here we describe a recent study by Peterson et al., which examines the correlation between SARS-CoV-2 infection and the brain. While the authors identified SARS-CoV-2 damage to the white matter of the brain, the structural changes paradoxically were not associated with worse neuropsychiatric scores. Peterson et al. investigated the possible correlation between mild to moderate SARS-CoV-2 infection and its impacts on the brain. The team studied 223 non-vaccinated participants around 289 days after recovering from mild to moderate COVID-19. Seven participants were asymptomatic, 126 had mild symptoms, 67 had moderate COVID-19 but were not hospitalized, and 18 were hospitalized but did not receive intensive care treatment. Polymerase Chain Reaction Tests PCR, obtained between March and December 2020, confirmed SARS-CoV-2 exposure. A healthy control group, examined prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, was matched for age, sex, years of education and cardiovascular risk factors and underwent the same process. The authors sought 11 signs of neurodegeneration, atrophy, inflammation, blood vessel damage and cellular disruption through magnetic resonance imaging MRI, scans. The imaging markers demonstrate alterations in the cortical gray and white matter of the brain in vivo. For reference, the outermost layer of the brain is composed of gray matter and is otherwise known as the cerebral cortex, white matter lies directly underneath. Notably, Peterson et al. used conventional diffusion tensor imaging DDI, markers to non-invasively reveal information on white matter microstructures. The individuals also received clinical and neuropsychological assessment to detect any issues with cognitive function or psychosocial burden.